this is LNG. It's an RF uh, technology, or it's a remote, basically remote control meter. It can be activated, deactivated um, at Pico or by Pico via computer. It can also be accessed as well um, by your own person on a new website that will be up and coming. You can uh, monitor your usage. Wow. Um, and it will also um, give you tips on how to save and conserve energy. It will tell you when you're, you use more energy than other times. How many do you generally do it, get done in a day? It depends. I'm on an appointment team. Okay. So I can vary from 15 to 20 a day, sometimes more, sometimes less. Why do you put that on? These are personal protective equipment, this and uh, my fire resistant uh, clothing oh. has to protect us from any what's called a flash um, if debris or any pieces that are broken inside happen to touch the live side which is called the line side jaws it'll create a shower of sparks and molten metal oh wow so it saved me once or twice should you have some um, glasses oh okay Does that enter our current reading? Yes, this will update the account with the new meter number, the new reading, uh, the old meter number, and the old reading. Voltage is good. Does that prevent tampering? Yes. It's not a super deterrent. Uh, it's a fairly small gauge wire. Can be cut, but if there is, if we do come back, we know that there was some sort of uh, tampering. I don't know if you noticed, we're not allowed to touch the meter or the box without all of our full equipment on from what we call seal to seal. Apparently you can't see inside the box. You never know if there's something touching this actually could be live. Okay. So you just never know. And we just take photo records of the whole installation, the condition of the box and the meter during, before, during and after installation. This is a normal meter. Okay. Some of the problems you could find melting the oh. plastic. You can find burning or char on the uh, blades themselves, which would be indicative of a problem in the box. Oh. Um, if not just the meter itself. And then if that, if you should encounter if I that? If across that, come across that, we call our supervisors, then we have a special team to come out and, and address the situation. Okay. Now we'll activate the meter. The meter's now activated, and I will finish invent inventorying the new meter, and that should complete our process. It's transmitted like cell phone, basically. Okay. So down at Pico, they can actually go in through computer as opposed to riding by as they used to do. Um, can they, they shut you down from They here? can. They can. They have the capability to turn off and turn on this meter um, in case of emergency, in case of delinquent pay. Well, um, also what's neat, there's a feature in here that will detect if you have any overheating or abnormal surges, um, and if it's a condition that isn't proper, it'll sig uh, signal PICO and then shut itself down. What kind of training um, do you receive to, to do this? We have, um, oh man, it's, it's uh... They, they prefer you to have some sort of electrical background, some sort of um, mechanical training. Um, and they train you specifically on meter safety. That's, that's paramount, meter safety and the installation process and how meter uh, services should look and how uh, what's proper, what's not proper, what to look out for. Um, the training can vary from anywhere from two weeks to a month. Um, but we're specifically trained just to do installation. We can't address any other problems um, nor repair anything at the moment.